What noise grabs your attention and distracts you from focusing on what's important? Distracted yet? Maybe I should scratch my fingernails on this chalkboard. No? I didn't even do anything yet. Distracted yet? All of those noises are sounds that you can hear and maybe even feel in your body. What about the noises that you see? Wait, what noises that you see? How is that possible? How can a noise not make a sound? Is that like when a tree falls in the woods and if nobody's there, does it even make a sound? Before I make more sound to tell you more about two types of noises and how you can reduce the distractions they cause, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up and please leave a comment or question below to keep the conversation going on ways to help you and your friends and anybody else on the planet to reach their success in school, in work, and in life beyond. Noise can and should be thought of as unwanted sound. Sound is what we hear through our ears, through vibrations in the air, whether we want to hear them or not. You even feel sound caused by the airwave pressure sent out from exploding fireworks, or when the bass is booming, or sometimes even when a dog barks, a big dog. To help you imagine what sound looks like, think of the ripples caused by throwing a stone into the water. Anything that you're hearing can pick up and make you aware that there's a sound there is called external noise. Depending on your mood and the sensitivity to sound, even the quietest of sounds can be a distracting noise. External noise can be measured and monitored, just like the wave patterns for my speech that you can see on your screen right now. Check, check. <laughs> then there's the external noise that makes you wince or cover your ears to reduce the impact. And of course, really, really loud noises can be so disruptive in being able to hear anything. It can oftentimes leave us with temporary or even permanent hearing damage. On the other end of the spectrum, some external noises may not even be noticeable until you start paying attention to them. For example, during the day, you may not even realize there's water dripping in your sink. But at night, when you're trying to sleep, that noise can seem to be so loud and is always extremely distracting. The solution to that is simple, fix the drip. If someone's cracking gum or crunching on hard snack foods, it can be very distracting when trying to study, let alone focus on something really important. The solution to dealing with any external noise is fairly simple. You can just stick your fingers in your ears, use earplugs, turn up the volume of what you're listening to, or maybe turn it down or even turn it off or maybe even use whatever else is nearby to help dampen the sound and the distractions the noise causes. So now that you know what external sound is and how to reduce some of its distracting effects, it makes total sense that noise can only come from your physical environment that's outside of your body, right? Mm, not exactly. Just taking a wild guess here, but I bet you'd probably never even thought that noise can also come from within your body. And I'm not talking about when your stomach gurgles from being hungry or having a reaction to something you ate. Those are physiological internal noises, but there's still another internal noise that can be deafening if left unchecked. You've probably heard of noise pollution, but have you ever heard of sight pollution? Seeing something that is unusual or out of the ordinary or even shocking can cause you to focus on that image for a very long period of time and should be considered visual noise or sight pollution. Yes, your eyes can even take in noise when it distracts you for more than a few moments. Unlike external noise, that's abrupt and loud and can result in that high-pitched squeal, hopefully lasting only for a little while, internal noise can last much longer due to the visual impressions left in our mind's eye. Just like the saying goes, once you see something, you can't unsee it. That is so true. Distractions caused by internal noise can definitely have an impact on the ability to focus. And sometimes we need to be careful not to do things when we're too distracted that can lead to further insult and injury, especially while working with tools. Sight pollution can cause much worse distractions than noise pollution for a few reasons. 
Internal noise is much trickier because of what you're experiencing at the moment. Being tired, bored, depressed, anxious, excited, or injured can amplify the noise, thereby increasing the level of distractions or focus. Just like in the movies, does the monster disappear when you close your eyes? In the case of visual noise, it can. If you know an image is going to bother you and rattle around in your head for a long time, why pay attention to it? This is a simple fix. Look away, or better yet, just turn it off. When you need to concentrate and focus on an upcoming task that will demand extreme concentration, take a break from social media, from watching videos, and from watching TV shows. You can try cleaning your thoughts by simply taking a walk or even light exercise. Turn on some music and keep your phone out of your hand. Focus on objects and little details that you normally would never look twice at. Then start to see yourself taking the steps and actions needed to get the homework, assignment, or project started and finished in the time frame you've scheduled. You do schedule that kind of time, right? If you need a reminder on how to schedule your life, check out that link to the video that will offer you some good advice on scheduling. Once you find a method to turn down and even block out the visual noise that works for you, you'll find that your ability to stay focused longer will continue to improve over time. Here's another technique that I use to quiet those pesky thoughts that are unwanted noises in my head. Try this. When the internal noise gets too loud from a distracting thought and disrupts me, I need to disrupt that flow and image of that thought by making an abrupt and sharp loud noise that signals me to stop. Watch and listen how to do this. Stop. Pretty simple, right? Make sure to use your hands to signal a defensive action to stop too. If you have a pet, you know that a sharp and loud sound can usually interrupt or stop them from hopefully doing an unwanted behavior. Think about how you react when you hear your name called out. Hey, Steve. You tend to look. Do this enough and the new skill of stopping the thought noise will become easier and easier. The next time the noise in your head starts creeping up in volume to distract you from hearing it, stop. To make a permanent change in a behavior takes motivation, discipline, and commitment to practice. Remember, the discipline is doing what you don't want to do when you don't want to do it. If you're wondering how long it takes to make a change, that depends on you. Obviously, the harder and smarter you work at something, change will happen much faster. There's no specific number of days anyone can tell you how long it takes since each of us is unique in who we are and what we do and what our lives are like to make change happen. Now, I'm gonna spare you the time about citing averages and numbers and statistics from the countless research studies on how long it takes people to make behavioral changes and just tell you this. A realistic time frame for us to make any change as people is about three to four weeks. And again, that depends on you and your commitment to do what you have to do to reach your success. To quiet the noise in your head will take practice and commitment to change. Change takes time. Change takes action. Speaking of action, commit to action right now by giving this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And remember that my goal is that your success is the goal. I'll see you online soon.